What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this week's lesson, we check out Numa, probably one of the best tracks, if not the best track, on the new Tool album. All right. So before we jump in, down in the description below, you can find the links for all the tabs. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. We're going to be going through this whole album and all the other original lessons we do on the channel. All right. We are in a drop D tuning and here we go. All right. So the song is going to open up with a clean intro section. There is our clean intro, right? So you can hear it's four phrases. Every other time is slightly different. So it's open A and then the rest of the power chord. Low string three. Then three and two on the next strings. Low string three. Three and open on that D string and then O open. Kind of picking out the power chords. Right? Okay, so the first time you just let that note ring. The second time you hit the open twice. The third time you add a little pull off on that. On the G string to open. And then the fourth time is just the one hit again. Right, so you're kind of slowly building it and then dropping it back off. So after the guitar does the initial four pass through, the drums start kicking on and you can continue playing the same thing. And now you're just going to alternate. It's the same thing. You're just going to alternate, though, with an open chord. And then every other time, you do the pull off. So after you repeat that a couple times and the drums start doing their thing, you're going to hold out that chord. And then Jones is going to add some new chords. And we have this part. Right? So it's open A, 7, 9. Open A, 10, 10. Open A, 10, 12. Back to the first chord. And then 0, 7, 7. Okay? So as you play through it four times on that last time. You land on this major chord, right? 0, 0, 11, 10. And then Jones swells in with the open A and open D. And that's when the song kind of starts. We've made it through the intro of the song, the bass kicks in. Now the timing of this riff is difficult. It's two measures of seven, four, and then a quick measure of five, eight. Okay, so it's a slow seven count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So. It's, it's schism inspired, you know, you have that, that kind of vibe and you have this, that kind of feel. So it's, it's, I definitely hear the schism influence and schism was seven and five as well, but it was seven, eight and five, eight. So this is seven, four, seven, four, five, eight. Okay. And you're playing with the delay and you're essentially playing off a dotted quarter note feel, right? Which gives you a down, up, down, up kind of vibe. And you're just, we're playing with the delay, so we're just playing chord stabs, okay? So you have this riff. Okay, so once you get an idea of the phrasing of or the, the length of the phrase of the riffs and where they start and where they end, it actually becomes a little easier to digest the feel and the chords. Okay, so the first chord is a power chord on the fifth fret of your A string, and then it's five and eight, back to five and seven, back to five, five, back to five, seven. And then when you land on that chord, you're gonna get, get. 
and that second hit is the downbeat of one. So we have one. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does for you guys, okay? So that's that feel. So the second time round, it's power chord on five, minor third on five, which is five and three, five and five, and then we have this nice whole step, major second, five and two, and then octave, five and five. And even though it's the same note, since the fact that you're playing with two strings, give it a slight pitch, you'll hear a difference between the two. So that's the phrasing of the main riff, at least the first couple times. The third time, you get a variation, and the time signature changes too, but I don't want to focus too much on that. The riff is extremely hard to kind of count if you're not used to it, and if you understand the phrasing and where the riff starts and ends, you can just hear it and play it. So the third time through, we start on five and seven, eight, we're gonna go up and play a power chord on eight, 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 major third, eight and seven, eight, eight again, power chord on three, back to the beginning. So let's listen to the whole thing again before we move on. So the first verse is tricky to hear, and you basically have this pattern, low string open, hammer on, 10, 12 on the D. And that's your pattern, so it's low note, hammer, low, low, hammer, right? So you're just adding an extra note to the riff. And after you do it twice, you do a little 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Very Jones, very simple. So you have. That is the first verse riff. Okay, so after that, you go back into the the main idea of the song, okay? And then when you land on it, you end on that unison, you give it a slightly bend, and then you get to the heavy chords, right? And it's same as the intro now. He doesn't do that until later. So those, those heavy chords are A, three on the low string, and then A, and it's basically a C chord with that A in there. So it's three, two, two. Low string open. Eight times, repeat, okay? It fades out, you go back to the bass line, everything kind of starts over again, That the song structure-wise, right? You go into the second verse, then you go into the main idea and the heavy chords, that all repeats. The only difference that we need to talk about between the two sections is the second verse riff. It's actually the same as the first one, we're just not playing here on D string 10, we're now playing A string three. Same idea though. The, the other variation there is instead of going up to that D string, like that, you just stay on the A string. Like that. So it's... And that's your verse riff, okay? I believe you do it eight times. The first time, kind of accent the hammer on. 
Right? And then mute, mute it more as you go forward and the kind of vocals drop out in the second half. Like that. And then you build up back into the main idea of the song. All that repeats, heavy chords. And then that's, that leads us into the interlude section and the synth solo melody. Not really a solo more melody. All right, so as we get to the interlude of the song, everything kind of drops out. The guitar is going to drop out for a little while, drums kick in, the bass line, and then you have a synth that comes in, does this little melody thing for a little while, and then the guitar is going to do a reprise of the intro of the song. This. Right, that whole section is gonna come back on this part. And then a little simple melody comes in. Right? And that's on your A string, 10, slide up to 12, power chord. And grab up and grab the G string, 12th fret. And then you let that note hang. And then there's a slight ghost note there. You play that 12th fret again. Or you can play your open A if you don't like the way the sound of the 12 sounds. You can do that too. And I point that out rather than hitting the 12th fret because what the next riff you go into uses the open A, right? You have this riff. heavy chord section coming up. That's a really cool riff. You have a power chord on 12, minor third on 12, so that's 12, 10, and then 12, 12, and then that cross string again with the whole step, 15, 12, and let that ring get that slight cross string. Hammer on 12, the 14, back to the 15, pull open A. So you have this. Like that. And then the last time, just hold the cross string. And then you get big heavy power chords. Right, seven, three, three, oh. And that mimics the intro riff. And I really like this section of the song because you got the big heavy cat power chords Jones throws some slight variations like he always does. It's not the same thing all the way through, all right? So it's seven, three, three, four. One of those. And the second time, so it's. You can do dead notes or open. It goes by pretty quick, whether you're palm muting open notes or slapping dead notes. Really doesn't, it's kind of inconsequential. The third time, you kind of hear these chords going on, and again, since you're mimicking the intro, you're just you're just bringing that back. 
kind of like a D chord. One, two, three, oh. And then the fourth time is the same as the second with the. And that leads to probably my favorite moment of the song. And that leads into the 16th note. But I love that. I mean, it's the same thing you did in the beginning of the song, but this. That's one of my favorite aspects of Jones's playing, the way he just adds these really simple chords. But the melody is there, the rhythm is there, that mimics the whole song. Really reminds me of Push It, the outro section and what he does there. Just one of my favorite aspects is Jones playing his little simple things like that. And then we're gonna transition. to that part, and it's the same idea as the main, it's the same thing as the main idea of the song. We're just getting our, our thrash on. So then we move into this awesome power chord section, right? Really heavy, really groovy just really awesome feel in the song and it's feels more complicated than it is right so it's three five chug chug three five five chug chug like that and then you just do that Essentially, you, you repeat it, but that last phrase, you do a little like that. You just do a little 16th notes. Two, four, three, five. And then it's three, 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 five, ten, oh. go. There is a slight variation on the second time through. Rather than sliding up, you're sliding down from eight. So just listen to that as you play through it. And then we're going to move to the main riff again, except this time the delay is off and we're, we're actually hitting that extra hit in there, that step. All right, so we're putting that, that extra hit into that part, All right? So you, you play, again, there's nothing new there except just that part where you just, you take off the delay and it's heavy. And then you get the heavy chords again. And we have a repeat, a reprise of that. Okay? And this is when Jones overlays a mini outro solo over it, okay? So there are some variations. The one rhythm guitar just plays the straight chords until the end of the song, and we'll talk about that. And then overlaid, you have this. The first time you put some open string chugs. Second time is normal. Third time, you hit the, the octave there on the A string. And then you have this little mini solo here. So let me play through the solo real fast and then we'll talk about it. That's your little outro solo, and then you have the... And 
it fades out on, on that riff from before. Nothing new there, okay? So the solo, the little me melody going on, 10, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, on your D string, uh, 12, 10. Now, I grab this A here, so it's 10, 12, A, 10, 12, 12, jump up, G string 10. 7, 10, 7. Bend on the G string 7. Typical. Ten, thirteen, fifteen. bend. Unison bend. On 12 and 15. 12 and 10 on the G and B. 7, 5. best song on the album. Don't know if it's my favorite, but it's an awesome song. Really awesome track. You, they put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, like I said, down in the description below, you can find the links for all the tabs. Please click on that subscribe button. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.